Hi everyone. Occasionally when we're studying sequences and series and we want an exact answer, our calculators will not convert some really small decimals to fractions for us. So therefore we have to know how to keep it in fraction form on our own without using our calculator. This video is going to demonstrate how to do that. We are given a general formula, a sub n is equal to 7 times 1 third raised to the n minus 1 power, and we're trying to find the 10th term. So we know to find the 10th term, we're going to substitute 10 for n. So that will give 7 times 1 third to the 10 minus 1 power, which is going to be 7 times 1 third to the 9th power. Now I'm going to switch over to my graphing calculator here and show you what the calculator will give us, I recommend that you do the same. So we see that the calculator gives us this decimal value. And notice that it says E with the negative four. And remember what that basically means is scientific notation. So this is like 3.5563684456. times 10 to the negative fourth power which essentially means you would move your decimal four times to the left. And then of course we would add zeros for those missing values. So what we're basically getting here is that the 10th term as a, an approximated decimal is about 0.0003556 rounded. But of course, if you're working on a computer homework system, most systems are not gonna accept that answer and will want an exact answer. And then when you go ahead and try to convert it to a fraction on your ca graphing calculator, you'll notice that it just returns to you the exact same decimal. So the calculator is not particularly useful in giving you an exact answer. So this is when we're going to have to do the work by hand. So what I mean by that is when you're raising one third to the ninth power, that is essentially the same as raising the numerator to the ninth power and the denominator to the ninth power. So one to the ninth power is just one. And then you can use your calculator to evaluate three to the ninth power, which will be 19,683. And then just multiply the numerators and denominators. So we'll get a fraction of seven over 19,683. And if this simplifies, you certainly would want to do so. However, seven does not divide evenly into the denominator. So this would be our exact answer, seven divided by 19,683. And this is gonna be the 10th term of this particular sequence. And this is written in exact form, as opposed to the decimal approximation that's generated from the calculator. I hope this helps.